is turning a bit now. Oh, 16 volts. What's the RPM? Now it's slowed down a little bit. I think at 16 volt it was probably 80 to 100 RPM. And uh, if I were to disconnect the LED, uh, we can see what the open voltage is. You can see it going up to like 27 volts uh, open voltage. So, so as soon as it starts turning, it'll come up to about 10, 11 volts. And when it gets to like 80 RPM, it would start uh, giving a little bit of electricity. So I mounted it on a pole that is about uh, six feet high. That's a small one. And I took down the old Savonius windmill, the uh, vertical one again. And uh, here's the uh, PMA. You can see it's still in very good shape. Uh, it wasn't affected by the weather because it's underneath the Savonius. Uh, you can see the coils in there, probably I would say about uh, 18 gauge wires. So theoretically this will give me some good electricity. But as you can see it takes quite a bit to turn the alternator. So it's not practical for me. But after one year it's still in very good shape. Just a little bit of rust on the caps here for the uh, bearing. But otherwise still in good shape. I paid about $125 for this uh, unit here. So I use the same uh, designing principle for this vertical windmill. I put the alternator under the rotor so uh, the rain and the snow would not get on the alternator directly. Uh, that would uh, prolong the lifespan of the unit uh, by a little bit. You can see the wind picking up a little bit. I would say probably 80 RPM. Let's see what voltage uh, it has. Uh, just about 11 volts. <laughs>